he has resource guarding. Um, we are desensitizing him to the dogs. His resource guarding is a little bit worse when his mom's here, so we're gonna have to get her to also handle him and correct him so that he knows that it's unacceptable, you know, with her as well as with me. Um, something I've done is I've shown him the food, toss the food to another dog, he returns to me, he receives his reward. Um, he's going to be uncomfortable in these tight spaces, but it's something he has to deal with. As he leaves his heel, I turn a tone on. So I want you guys, and I'm going to do it again, I'm going to pull him out and just pull him back in. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but tone stops here, tone's on, and it stops there. We're supposed to stay in continued motion, and when he's non-reactive to the dogs, he can receive a reward. Uh, we utilize a choke chain a, or slip collar or prong. Uh, it all depends on the dog and their specific needs. I always like to have an e-collar on. Uh, because it's a wonderful communication tool. Um, but he's out here working for a high value reward, which he will also want to guard. If he decides he's going to guard it, he loses all opportunity to get it. I'll toss it to everybody. Um, so when he decides he's going to be good, we're paying nice focus, he can receive a reward. Heel. So tone is on. Yes. So he's non reactive. And there is a direct correlation. To the bypass this little gate between the dogs yes to him receiving a reward this would have initially elicited reactivity out of him he would have lunged and snapped and growled at him uh, this is not something that I want his mom to do today with uh, with my dogs uh, but maybe in a couple days then we'll get there good boy yes so marker comes that's my hand. Watch what you bite. Good boy. Yes. So didn't even pay any attention to him. Excellent. Gets a good value reward. Leave it. Yes. A strong leave it is really important. No Nero. Yes. 